ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ನಾನು ಪ್ರಭಾಕರ್ ಹಂಪಿಗೋಳಿ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾಥಮೆಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕೆ ಎಲ್ ಎಸ್ ಗುಪ್ಟ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಬೆಳಗಾವಿ ವಿ ಟಿ ಯು ಈ ಛತ್ರದಡಿ ಇದು ಓಪನ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೆಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಅಲ್ಜಿಬ್ರಾ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ಡಿಯರ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಅಲ್ಜಿಬ್ರಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಅಲ್ಜಿಬ್ರಾ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಡೀಲಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ವಿ ಆರ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಇಂಟರ್ಚೇಂಜಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಆಪರೇಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಪರೇಟರ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಕಂಪೇರಿಂಗ್ ಬೋತ್ ಆಫ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಸೊ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಕೈ ಹಿಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಕರ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ಸ್ ವಾಯ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಗೋಸ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ವಾಯ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ವಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ಹೌ ಇಫ್ ವೆದರ್ ದ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಟಿ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟಿಬಲ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ವೆದರ್ ಟಿ ಇನ್ವರ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಇನ್ವರ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ದೆನ್ ಟಿ ಇನ್ವರ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ನಾವು ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಸಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಟಿ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟಿಬಲ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ರಿಮೈಂಡರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಇಫ್ ಸೊ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಟಿ ಇನ್ವರ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡನ್ ಸಚ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಪ್ರೂ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಟಿ ಇಂಟು ಟಿ ಇನ್ವರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಎ ಇಂಟು ಎ ಇನ್ವರ್ಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎ ಇಂಟು ಎ ಇಸ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಟಿ ಈ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಟಿ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಟಿ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಟಿ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಯೂಬ್ ಟು ಆರ್ ಕ್ಯೂಬ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಜೆಡ್ ರಿಮೇನ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಜೆಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ರಿಮೇನ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಲೈಕ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎನ್ ಡೈಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಟು ಸೇಮ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಮೇಜ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಬಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಯು ಹಾವ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಗಿವನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಎ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಯೂಬ್ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಬಾಯ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ದೆನ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿ ಶಾಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರೂಫ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ shall start the proof that t is invertible and uh, we shall find show that it is identity so two questions were answering invertible and uh, t into t inverse is identity transformation given this type of transformation now we have to rewrite given transformation is t of something which is uh, instead of x y z i can take x1 x2 x3 that is given by two times one time one time comma x1 plus x2 plus 2x3 second component comma x1 minus 2x3 third component now immediately what do we find matrix of linear transformation it is with respect to standard base 10001001001 say matrix of linear transformation t is uh, say a equal to since it is from r cube to r cube it will be 3 cross 3 matrix needless to tell and uh, the coefficients
So now, what I ask the question? This is the question and uh, invertible and t into t inverse identity then we found a equal to now we find first uh, determinant of this matrix a we can find determinant of matrix a 2 1 1 1 1 2 and 1 0 minus 2 this becomes a uh, minus 1 and it is not equal to 0 is important for us so if determinant of a is not equal to 0 a is non-singular Hence, uh, A is uh, invertible. If A is invertible, then A inverse exists. And that A inverse also we can find. If A inverse exists, this implies that T inverse exists. So then we are answering the question that this implies T is, T is invertible. The first question we answered. How do you answer? Very simple. Find the matrix of linear transformation. Determinant of A, you can use calculators, or calculators also. Not equal to 0. A is uh, invertible means A inverse exists means uh, T inverse exists means uh, T is invertible. Now next question we are answering. T into T inverse. For that first we find to find to prove that T into T inverse is identity mapping. We are showing that T T inverse is identity linear transformation. For that, first I have to find what is T inverse of X, Y, Z. To find T inverse of X, Y, Z, first we have to find for T inverse, you have to find A inverse. So using your matrix knowledge, you have to find A inverse. I can use the calculators also. So for this matrix, A inverse becomes 2 minus 2 minus 1 minus 4, 5, 2, 5, 3, please use calculators also. So matrix inverse we have found. Don't go to use this PUC knowledge, it will be a waste of time. Then corresponding T inverse of some X1, X2, X3, if I find. So first row becomes, first component becomes here to attach here X1, X2, X3. For example, 2 times X1 minus 2 times X2 minus x3 similarly second component with respect to second row minus 4 5 you can see here minus 4 5 3 how i am attaching and third row gives us third component uh, which is which is uh, x1 minus x2 minus x3 and uh, hence uh, t inverse once it is known now i am going to apply t into t inverse so let us tell that this is some capital x1 say this is some capital X2, this is some capital X3. Then what we have to prove for T into T inverse. Okay. T into T inverse of some X1, X2, X3. Equal to T of first only this parts get gets executed. T as it is, T inverse of X1, X2, X3. But here it is there already, T inverse of X1, X2, X3 means what? Here it is. These three marked things are same. So you can replace this by this, that I am doing. So capital T as it is, capital T as it is, instead of marked thing, this marked thing I am writing, which is uh, 2 times x1, instead of that I can write uh, x1, x2, x3, that means instead of this I am writing x1, Instead of this, I am writing x2. Instead of this, I am writing x3. Now, you know the meaning of t. The meaning of t is here. The meaning of t is here.
If you apply the meaning of T, what we will get now? T of x1, x2, x3 is a 2 times in terms of capital X1, x2, x3, 2x1 plus x2 plus x3 is the first component. Second component x1 plus x2 plus 2x3, the original definition of this example and third component x1 minus 2x3. Now what happens is you have to substitute the values of x1, x2, x3 here. That becomes a big job so that let me start writing from here. So this becomes 2 times x1 which is x1 is here. 2x1 minus 2x2 minus x3 plus x2 which is minus 4x1 plus 5x2 plus 3x3 plus x3 which is minus 4x1 plus 5x2 plus 3x3 or plus x3 now x1 minus x2 minus x3. Now instead of first part, we wrote this complete part. Similarly, the second part, I am using this comma now, the second part x1 plus x2 plus 2x3, see here it is, x1 is this part 2x1 minus 2x2 minus x3, x2 is this part minus 4x1 plus 5x2 plus 3x3 and uh, plus 2 times x3 is this part x1 minus x2 minus x3. So this is over. Last one is x1 minus 2x3. So x1 is this part which is 2x1 minus 2x2 minus x3 minus 2 times x3 which is x1 minus x2 minus x3. So we wrote now instead of this complete thing we wrote this bracket. Now I have to show that what happens to this. What happens to this? Okay. 2 into 2 4x1 minus 4x1 cancelled. 1x1 remains. So again 1x1 is remaining. 2x1 2x1 minus 4x1 0 this 2x1 this 2x1 0 so only remaining x1 is this so this becomes x1 similarly you can very easily check that this becomes x1 x2 x3 so what did you prove is t times t inverse on x1 x2 x3 is giving the same i am rewriting for you t t inverse of x1 x2 x3 is giving the reflection same so this is nothing but identity mapping therefore t into t inverse is a identity identity linear transformations so we proceed to have uh, some more algebra on this here goes the next question we are under the algebra of linear transformation. So if there is a special linear transformation, next question, if a transformation T of instead of x, y, z, a, b, x, y, z, I am taking a, b, c, in transformation a, b, c, T of a, b, c equal to say 3a, a minus b, and 2a plus b plus c then prove that then prove that this thing happens t minus or t square minus i on this all we are doing so that you get used to this transformation uh, algebra on some abc so t is a transformation, t square is a transformation just like a and a square. i is always a transformation, i of abc is, i of abc is a, i of abc is abc, just like linear mapping, identity mapping. And again t of abc is one transformation, 3i of abc is one transformation, just like matrix multiplication and squaring, we have to show that 
prove that this becomes at last a zero 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 transformation that means it becomes a zero matrix now to start from t minus 3 i a b c first you find this then afterwards whatever comes you keep it here in front of t square minus i that is solution is you first find t minus 3 i on a b c what happens here this happens t of a b c minus 3 times i of a b c now t of a b c is given which is a uh, 3a is given here 3a a minus b 2a plus b plus c minus 3 times i means object and image same whatever a b c is there same thing will be reflected now to proceed ahead Combine these two three tuples, which gives us T minus 3i operating on ABC, which is 3a minus 3a0 and a minus b minus b, which becomes a minus b minus 3b. It becomes a minus 4b. And uh, last one, 2a as it is, b minus 3b. Okay. 2a plus b so 2a plus b plus uh, 2a plus b minus 2c this is 2a minus 3a 2a plus b plus c if you add all these components T of ABC, 3ABC, 3A minus 3A, A minus B minus 3B, A minus 4B and the last component becomes 3C which is only 3C, C minus 3C is going to be changed, C minus 3C is, the 2A plus B is untouched here, I am doing this minus this part where it is 3C. 2a plus b is untouched c part only c minus 3c becomes minus 2c hope it is clear now we will move to the second part that means t square minus i now t square minus i on t minus 3i abc is a uh, is equal to t square minus i as it is and instead of this part I have to replace by this part 0 because these three are one and the same these two are same that means this becomes same 0 a minus 4 b 2 a plus b minus 2 c Trons don't forget our Finally, m is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So now, if I am operating on this, let us call this as t square minus i on c. In order to make our calculations easy, first component is x, second component is y, third component is z. So if I start operating that now, okay, let me consider this part. Consider, consider t square minus i on x y z which is t square on x y z minus i of x y z t square on x y z means t into t of x y z that means first this part gets executed minus i of x y z means x y z itself now we know about t of x y z the meaning of t we know that it is a t of 3x original definition of t we have to apply in the example given 3x x minus y <coughs> sorry and 2x plus y plus z this minus of x y z we have to go on keeping as it is now again again you have to apply the value of t when I apply t of x y z whatever the first component is there 3 times that and uh, x minus y means this minus this 
which is 4x plus y and 2 times first one and these two you have to add 2 times first one means 3x 6x plus x 7x plus 2x 9x and you have to add these two minus y plus y 0 and uh, z component becomes 0 afterwards so let us see that it becomes 9x plus z z remains so hence minus of x y z as it is now again when you apply 9x minus x is 8x 4x plus y minus y is y goes everything x remains z z goes that becomes it 9x anybody can guess if you can guess very good what is capital x go back go back go back go back go back go back instead of this we have taken x second one is y third one is z what is x now zero so zero 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 so we proved that it is zero 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 for your benefit once again this question has been appeared many times slight changes should not vary you so what we asked as a question this this was a question if at all we are given some t linear transformation this is the inevitable previous question If ABC, T of ABC is a, such a transformation, we are showing that this part is giving you 0, 0, 0. Here many things are involved. First we have to find T minus 3i, then whatever is comes you have to apply on T square minus i. We applied a T minus 3i so that T on ABC minus 3 times i on ABC. So that T of ABC is original definition, same thing we wrote 3a, a minus b, 2a plus b plus c. And afterwards minus 3 times ABC as it is. Then we did a simple algebra of subtracting three dimensional components, component wise, first component minus first component, second component minus second component, third component minus third component. So whatever the output comes, this uh, square box what I have made, whatever the outcome comes, that is again kept here in this box. So we have to find t square minus i on t minus 3 i on abc. These two are same. So just keep this here in front of t square minus i. Keep this here means this 0, a minus 4b, all this. So this becomes difficult to handle so that first component capital X, second component capital Y, third component capital Z. Then again apply t square minus i on it. So very simple, first or second time. If you again do the third time, it becomes easy. So t square on capital X, y, z minus i on capital X, y, z. That we wrote. Then slowly this uh, split it as t into t. t on x, y, z. i on x, y, z means identity mapping keeps same. So t on x, y, z is again same, whatever is like this, 3 times first component a minus b, first minus second component. So 3 times first component x minus y, then 2a plus b plus c, 2x plus y plus z, this as it is. Once again you apply t, once again you apply 3 t, so 3 times first component, first component minus second component like that, so that at last all y and z get cancelled, 8x, 4x, 9x remains. Recognizing x as 0, you get 0, 0, 0. This uh, we uh, try to prove in this uh, example. So we shall go with uh, one more type of, uh, uh, we are in the algebra of uh, a linear transformation. Next, one more simple but uh, quite often such questions asked. Suppose you are asked to prove a question like this. Let T1, T2 be linear operators. Linear operator is a linear transformation from same dimension to same dimension. T from R square to R square, T from R cube to R cube. Defined 
defined on R square as first one and second one. First one, suppose a two dimension number x1, x2 here, what happens? Something happens here, some change may happen. Whatever the change is happening is, these two x1, x2 becomes x2, x1 into change. 1, 2 becomes 2, 1. Right hand, left hand becomes left hand, right hand like that. Second one is a projection. So, x1, x2, so it becomes x1, second component becomes 0. So, whatever the point is there, 2, 3, it becomes 2, 0. So, it becomes a projection on x axis. Now, with this, we have to prove that, with this, we have to prove that, just like matrices, suppose matrix for A is T1, matrix for B is T2, then AB is usually not equal to BA. It is a, almost a matrix. Similar, similar thing happens, prove that T1, T2, this is A into B is not equal to T2 into T1, not equal to you have to prove. For that, you have to prove that LHS is not equal to RHS. Let us start with uh, LHS, which is a T1, T2, but uh, we cannot write T1, T2. I have to operate on some two-dimensional number, T1, T2. What happens? First, T2 operates. When T2 operates, you will get T1 on. What is T2? T2 is X1, 0. T2 is X1, 0. So, hence, uh, uh, what happens to T1? The role of T1 is interchange. So, x1, 0 becomes 0, x1. So, let us note down that t1, t2, if you take, it becomes, let us note down this. Similarly, let us write RHS here. RHS is equal to t2, t1, but on some point x1, x2, which is t2 on, what is the role of t1? A role of t1 is interchange. What is the rule of T2? Keep the first one as it is, second component becomes 0. So this is, we shall note down that, we shall note down that T2, T1 is giving the output, is giving the output, TX2, 0. If you compare both, right hand sides are not equal. If right hand side not equal, left hand sides are not equal. So that, uh, LHS and RHS are not equal. Hence, T1, T2 is not equal to T2, T1. Hence, T1, T2 is not equal to T2, T1. You can recapitulate. Just remember, in matrix it happened, AB is a very, very usually not equal to BA. In rare case, they are equal. In rare case, they are equal means they are not equal. So nice, no? Equal means always equal. Rare case they are not equal means always not equal. So that uh, uh, this becomes uh, one important example. So I will go to the next example, little bit different. shall understand what is meant by linear functional. Define linear functional. It is a special case of linear transformation. Also demonstrate with some examples. Demonstrate. With two examples. Or the same question can be written as differentiate between between linear transformation and a linear operator. And linear functional. This I will tell orally. Or the same question can be written as prove that. Prove that. Many options I am giving you. Prove that or establish or something other other terms can be used illustrate demonstrate first one trace function 
the trace function so we shall understand what is the trace function also the trace function is uh, of all n cross n matrices is a linear functional is a linear functional okay so let us start answering this in uh, different fashion the solution part so first of all we shall understand what is meant by trace function while well, illustrate this with an example first i uh, will give example what is a trace function let us illustrate this with an example if a equal to something like 1 2 3 4 5 6 it should be a square matrix n cross n i am taking 3 cross 3 then the trace function trace of a but in short we write it as tr of a is nothing but sum of all the diagonal elements we know that sum of the diagonal elements is trace function which is 1 plus 5 plus 9 some answer you will get you will get a real number at last that you should note it final output is real number sometimes final output is not a real number what i mean is suppose uh, x1 x2 only so this becomes two dimensional number that time this is not real number or what we did this is a uh, in terms of matrix in terms of matrix notation it is uh, in the position a11 a22 a33 or it is sum of aii so here comes the definition so hence here we are ready to define we shall take off to define what is the definition of trace function linear functional okay first of all we will define linear functional linear functional is a first of all linear transformation from a vector space to field r you can call it as a field it is real number such that that linear transformation such that that linear transformation t from vector space to f is a scalar at last a real number a scalar valued function the output becomes a real number is important that is shown now to prove that trace is a linear functional trace is a linear functional so first of all you have to prove that it is a linear transformation also and you have to prove that it is a linear function also so i'll take an example to prove to prove trace is a linear functional linear functional means two things you have to show one is linear transformation and one is it is a real number so let us take three dimension example i'll prove it by example let us take a equal to something like one two three four five six and uh, seven eight nine let us take uh, b equal to something like uh, four five six anything any three dimensional or any four dimensional any two dimensional we can take three dimensional looks better so we shall call it as alpha beta also some two quantities alpha beta also now to prove that they are linear functionals uh, before that linear transformation t of uh, a alpha plus b beta you have to show that it is a uh, a into alpha plus b into beta let us take a equal to some number 10 b equal to 20 say a equal to 10 b equal to 20 then what happens let us see now instead of transformation trace of a alpha plus b beta is equal to a is 10 alpha is this matrix 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 plus beta is 20 into 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 10 11 and trace of this and trace of this equal to 
10 times equal to 10 times so whatever we get 10 times this 1 plus 5 plus 9 1 plus 5 plus 9 plus 20 times 20 times 4 8 11 addition of all this 4 8 11 addition of all this so you can call it as if you find it is 610 if you call it it becomes 610 on the other way on the other way if you find on the other way if you find a into trace of alpha plus b into trace of beta which is equal to 10 into trace of a plus 20 into trace of b you can very easily find that it is 10 times 1 plus 5 plus 9 plus 20 times 4 plus 8 plus 11 that also becomes 610 actually this is also equal to in in reality we have found trace of 10 plus 20 into 4 10 plus 20 into 4 which is 80 second one 50 diagonal i am writing 20 into 8 160 third one 10 into 9 90 plus 20 into 11 220 remaining values are not important and we are adding all this when you add all this you got 610 610 so here what we did 10 into trace of a plus 20 to trace of b equals 610 both are 610 so we proved that and it is 610 is a real number so we proved that trace is linear transformation as well as linear functional and real number Hence, trace function is a linear functional, is a linear functional. So we understood little bit of linear algebra and we just uh, introduced the linear functional with one more example in the next class as linear functional. And in the next class we will be uh, introducing some more interesting factors till that we say bye. Thank you.